Hello creative iOS coders and welcome to the first video tutorial on Swift processing. This tutorial is going to go over basic installation, running our app for the first time, and making some of our first edits to our own sketch file and making it our own. So let's jump right in. So the first thing I'm going to do is open up my internet browser and I'm going to head to the GitHub page for Swift Processing. There's a link in the description of this video if you need it. Once we're at GitHub, we can scroll down and there's going to be a installation guide and tutorial for this project. So let's scroll down and check it out. Now, the first step is going to be to download and install Xcode, and this couldn't be more simple. All we need to do is get over to the app store that's built into our MacBook or Mac and search for Xcode. I already have it installed, but I can still search for it to show you. So I'm searching up Xcode and check it out. There it is. Now you'll want to click download. Mine just says open, but yours will say download if you've never downloaded it before. And please be patient. Xcode is massive. So maybe download it uh, overnight or uh, click download and go for a fun bike ride or something up to you but once it's downloaded you'll be able to go on to the next step which involves installing a template for your projects you'll want to open up terminal and paste in the commands that you find on the readme at the bottom of the github page it'll go pretty quick and once you've done that, you're ready to move on to your first project. Awesome, right? Couldn't be easier. So what we're going to do is hit command space and search for Xcode and hit enter. This is going to open up Xcode. After we do that, we'll be able to create our new project by going to file new project. So we're open that up. And once we've done that, gone to file new project. Because we've run the installation guide, if we scroll down to the bottom, we will see that there is a Swift processing option. So let's scroll down. There it is. And this is really going to set up all the basics for us so we can get straight to creative coding. Let's give our project a hello Swift processing name. And click, and click next once we've done that. And at this step, you can just choose where you save, where you'll save it. Um, make sure you remember where you put it. After we've done that, we'll move on to the next step, which involves installing the Swift processing package to our new project. Like before, we'll go to file. But this time, we'll go to the packages and click add package dependency. In the input at the top, what we'll need to do is paste in the link to the GitHub page. The same one you're on for these instructions. Click next and then make sure you choose master so you have the latest version of the package. We click next again and now we can click finish. We have the package. And now we are at the most exciting part. Now we can make sure that we have our uh, iPhone simulator selected and we are actually gonna be able to run this project on a simulated iPhone device on our Mac. So with the simulator selected, we can hit play and the simulator will boot up. If this is your first time booting up the simulator, please be patient. It can take a while, especially on older computers, but it'll get there, I promise. And once it's done, you'll have this beautiful red circle. Not too bad for 10 minutes of work, huh? So let's see if we can change up what's actually getting painted to the screen. Navigate yourself over to the mysketch.swift file and check out the code. Currently, there's two lines, fill and circle. What we're gonna do is try to draw a second circle. We're gonna do it the same way, but this time we're gonna send three different numbers instead of the ones you saw on the first line. 
The first number is the x location, the second number is the y location, and the third number is the size. So this time, we get a much bigger circle farther to the right and farther down the screen. We can make things even more interesting by leveraging more functions available to us in Swift processing. Let's draw another circle and this time use the random function so that every time it draws to the screen, we choose a random position to draw the circle. Now this is going to look pretty crazy because the thing about our draw function is it's running at 60 times a second. This means that 60 times a second, the location of our third circle is gonna change, giving us this crazy animation. So now you've created two circles and you've even animated a third one. You're well on your way to mastering swift processing. But don't stop right now. What can you make with just circles? Some of the best art is made under constraints like only being able to use circles. See what you can do with the circle function. Putting it, you're putting your circles in different locations and different sizes. Even play with that fill function some more. Can you make different colors? It's gonna be pretty exciting to see what you can build. Till next time, see ya.